So before we could start using Nornir, of course, we have to install them. So make sure you have activated your virtual environment and let's go ahead and install Nornir via pip. So we do pip install Nornir and it's going to go out and grab all the dependencies. And as you can see, there's actually quite a few of them. So, um, you know, it might take you a little bit longer. I've already installed it and make sure that it's you know, take a look at these lines and make sure it's installed under your uh, virtual environment just to be on the safe side. So once we've installed it, let's go ahead and uh, fire up the Python repo and make sure um, that we could input on here. So if we could um, just type in Python and if I say import Nornir and I do look at the version that that's uh, that I've installed. And by the way, this is called a this is double underscore, and sometimes people refer it to Dunder. So if you hear people say Dunder, usually this is a uh, quote unquote magic method that you know you shouldn't be altering them. So these actually came with the uh, most of the packages that you would see. So great. Now we could um, we make sure that Nornir is installed correctly. We could launch it. And before we do anything else, let's talk about the two documentation that I would recommend people to read. Probably once you, you know, once you finish this video, go ahead and at least glance through these two documentation. One is Kirk's uh, introduction to Nornir. He actually uh, is, as a lot of you know, Kirk is the author for the NetMiko library. A lot of you have used that and liked it. I'm one of them. I'm impressed by Kirk's uh, persistence in coming out with that library. And so he actually joined force with um, David uh, Barroso, and he's actually the author of Napalm. And so they team up together and it's, you know, to work and amongst other people to work on the Nornir package. So this uh, introduction is definitely worth a look. And if you could just, you know, scroll down through them and I will refer back to them uh, as we go through the example, but this is these two links will be included in the course notes. So go ahead and take a look at them. And uh, I would go ahead and at least glance through the learning Nornir and see what kind of topics that would cover. But you know, also take a look at the tutorial where you know there was they would say uh, Nornir at a glance, installation, initialization, and so on. So these two documentation are definitely worth a look. And also before we do anything, let's talk about inventory because I think that is kind of uh, where people got tripped up initially. So if you take a look at this host.yaml file, if you haven't worked with, worked with uh, YAML, that's okay. Um, what you really need to know is just that, you know, it, the, the file ends in either YAML by convention or YML. And it's started by three dashes to indicate the beginning of that file. And uh, each of them is delimited by, just like Python delimited by spacing. So what you see right here is, is the first item is LX core R1 and the second item is LX edge R1 and third is edge R2. And everything that is space uh, aligned underneath belongs to LX core R1 and so on and so forth. So these items, these uh, key value pairs are pretty self-explanatory. The host name, the port, the username, and the password. The only thing that kind of people have question about is just the platform. So in this case, this is, if you worked with Ansible before, this is kind of like after Ansible you know, 2.5 that they have these um, you know, Ansible connection with the network underscore CLI. And within the network OS, you could specify iOS, NXOS, uh, Juniper, Arista, so on. So in this case, because we're using uh, Nexus OS, NXOS, so we specify Cisco NXOS as the platform. And for the Edge R1 and R2, we specify Cisco iOS. So that is the only two things that I want to point out before we talk more about uh, Nornir. And um, as you could see, you know, probably after this video that there's actually a lot more to the to the quote unquote inventory. By default, there's a host.yaml and groups.yaml file where, where you could offload some of the group variables from the, uh, from the host. And there's also these other data 
data uh, attributes that you could also put into the host. And you know, if you go into the learning nor near documentation, you could see that the inventory file that it's a lot more involved. Where you initialize it, you can actually offload a lot of the configuration into the config file. So for me, I think that's a little more involved for people who's you know initially trying to get started. So I'm just going to use the host.file.yaml, and I'm going to specify these these three routers. As I mentioned before, you know we're just going to worry about the LAX portion of our topology and leaving the New York NYC as you know practice homework whatever you want to name it so these two items are what we need to talk about before we look at the first nor near example